Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to my new version of Unity 2 12.4.1 uh, Just want to show you what exactly I've done to this uh, OS um, Just want to let you guys enjoy and feel what a preloaded, pre-tweaked out uh, Unity uh, distribution feels like. Um, as you can see off the bat it looks completely different from your ordinary Unity uh, distribution. First things first you'll see the conky here with all the gauges looks fantastic that's something that I've added a new conky. Uh, the icons even the main I the Ubuntu icons completely different that's the one from 1304 so I've changed that around added a couple new apps from my old Unity uh, distribution. Uh, gave it a dark theme like I always like doing my stuff. Uh, Pre-tweaked out the compass. Did a lot of, lot of cool stuff. So let's have a look. Uh, that's the HUD. Obviously very easy. Search your files, uh, search your apps, etc. Um, we'll open up the home folder. Look at that. Looks very nice and slick and clean with uh, the icons, uh, the GTK themes that I've put on. So. Um, but that you could all change that to your liking but this is what I I put it through but I'll go through a couple things with you for all you Android users have a look at this now you can mount your uh, Android device very very easy if you have a Nexus phone or something like that or a Nexus 7 tablet which I have this mounts it very easily no worries you don't have to go through all that hassle like you used to go through works very well uh, Ubuntu tweak obviously I got Ubuntu tweak as you can see, the GT, GTK themes loaded a lot, new, a lot of new ones. Very cool stuff for you guys. Icons, a lot of cool uh, new icons as well. I took some of the old ones out. Uh, this is a cool one that I've added. Pretty nice. It changes it around. Uh, the window themes. You could change the window themes. Uh, so a lot of stuff to tweak out. Um, Firefox, the latest and greatest one, 17.1, Oprah, you got your Chrome, uh, my favorite website, one of my favorite websites for tweaking and stuff, a lot of good stuff there, Noobs Lab, so you guys need to take a look at that, uh, have a look at this little clock, this is fantastic, this little clock, uh, it looks like one of those, uh, kind of the Windows 8 tile kind of things, but for, uh, for Ubuntu and Linux, so uh, you could change it to whatever color you like. Do a lot of cool stuff with it. So there you go. That's a little app, a new app that I put on there. So we'll close that. Have a look at this uh, new little app that I found. I saw a video on uh, YouTube on this and I kind of liked it. I added it to this. Uh, it's called Drawers. Uh, create a new drawer and application in the category. Let's have a look and see. Let's do one on video and see what happens. All right. Press close. You can tweak it out, etc. adds a drawer for you. Look at that. Instead of uh, searching for your thing, it's kind of like the old GNOME menu. It lets you uh, just browse exactly what's in videos, etc. So very, very cool stuff. Makes it very, very easy. Um, obviously, I put the GNOME tweak tool, which is very good. Um, I have a couple of videos how to tweak the OS on some other things, but very simple. Um, you could have a look at some of my other videos. You could see how you could tweak the OS around, etc. So I won't get into it too much. Uh, Semantic uh, Package Manager, cool. That's another uh, thing I've added, but it's been on the old one. Oh, take it out. There you go. Just a little compass there for you guys as well. Mumble. Um, I added Mumble here for you guys, and it's on OLC. A lot of cool guys on the Open Linux Community Center. So definitely give us. A holler in there and say hi I'm always on there in the evening so uh, Wallinch always add Wallinch to all my distributions a uh, lot of good stuff in there I preloaded quite a few new wallpapers I think I have over a hundred dark wallpapers here you guys go for all you geeks man woman and geek which of us are what are we all right let's go to the next little app here uh, which is a uh, screen cloud which I have open let's have a look at how we do this um, this is a fantastic little app um, it's still free through the the Ubuntu Software Center I'll show you how exactly what you do with this little app uh, you kept you could capture a screenshot or you could have an online dashboard but whatever works for you guys I'll show you uh, how you capture a screenshot there's a screenshot of the desktop I'll put it there uploads it to 
the destination where you want it, which I believe is pictures. Let's have a look. There you go. You have a picture of your desktop so you could show it on uh, Facebook or whatever you guys need to show it on. Very cool stuff. Very nice and clean shot. Very quick, quickly does it for you. So, and let's have a look at what else we have. Um, all right, let me show you this little. This is a new one that came out. This is known Python. This is the newest one. This is a pretty cool little app. If you can press any of these, Control Alternative A, it'll come up with all these applications, bookmarks, main menu, multimedia, and window. But if you press Control, control Alternative and Space, you get that. Very, very cool. This is all preloaded on there, so you can do whatever you like with it. So there you are. Opens up the application for you just with a couple commands on the on your uh, d desktop keyboard. Uh, next thing, which I added, which is new for you guys, added live wallpaper. Let's have a look at what it does. There you go. Gives you a live wallpaper. Um, obviously, you could customize that to your settings. You can open up your settings, change it around, change the desktop wallpaper. I've added that. You can go back to the default, which is dark space kind of thing. Um, even has uh, the Nexus look to it as well. There you go. We'll take that out for you. All right, fantastic. Let me show you a couple other things. I also added Cairo. Um, there we go. We added the old Cairo for you guys. Um, usually I put it, but I kind of made it look a little slicker. If you guys want to add it, it's already preloaded like this, exactly how you see it here um, with the application menus. If you like your application menu with all the, the games, apps, graphics, and stuff like that. So, so as you can see, it's pretty well loaded. Very nicely laid out for you guys. So, hope you guys download this distro and let me know your thoughts and what you'd like to see change on the next distro. This is just a 32 version as we speak now, but um, I will be making a 64 bit and hope you guys like it and enjoy uh, Unity Dark 2. Thanks.